And Hennessy never stop, never settle. Um, after Kawhi Leonard left that game in the third quarter, and you see Golden State outscoring them 58-33, hit him with an 18 to nothing run right <laughs> after that. Really? And uh, game one goes to Golden State. And uh, with time to reflect on what he saw, uh, Greg Popovich weighing in on Zaza Pachulia. A two-step lead with your foot closeout is not appropriate. It's dangerous. It's unsportsmanlike. It's just not what anybody does to anybody else. And this particular individual has a history with that kind of action. A totally unnatural closeout that the league has outlawed years ago and pays great attention to it. And Kawhi's not there. And you want to know how we feel about it. You want to know if that lessens our chances or not. We're playing very possibly the best team in the league. You know, we don't know what's going to happen in the East. And 9.75 people out of 10 would figure the Warriors will beat the Spurs. Well, we've had a pretty damn good season. We've played fairly well in the playoffs. I think we're getting better. And we're up 23 points in the third quarter against Golden State. And Kawhi goes down like that. And you want to know if our chances are less, and you want to know how we feel, that's how we feel. Follow up. Much <laughs> <laughs> cover. You know, my teammate plays hard. I'm just trying to win. That's, that's as far as it's going to go. I mean, he's tough. I mean, he's 285 pounds, so he's strong. I mean, he's an NBA pro. I don't know what else you, that you want from him. What do you want him to be? You know, he is who he is. If he wasn't your teammate, would you be looking at it the same way, you think? I, there's no way. To, there's no way. To, I don't know how to answer that. I really feel bad for the guy. I wish it didn't happen. And, uh, and you know, I, I had a different result, basically. But, um, again, it's, it's a game. There are some things sometimes you can't control it. Uh, I'm not a dirty player. I um, just love this game, uh, and I'm playing hard. That's how I was taught since day one, honestly. So that's what I've been doing. If he would have played and they'd have ended up winning, i go get dinner, have a glass of wine, wake up the next day, go to practice, and move on. But this is crap. And because he's got this history, it can't just be, oh, it was inadvertent. He, did, he didn't have intent. Who gives a damn about what his intent was? You ever hear of manslaughter? You still go to jail, I think, when you're texting and you end up killing somebody. But you might not have intended to do that. All I care is what I saw. All I care about is what, I, what happened. And the history there exacerbates the whole situation and makes me very, very angry. But I'm still open to follow up. <laughs> Shaq, when you look at that video, do you think that was an intentional move by Zaza? Well, I don't know Zaza. I, I really would have considered him a dirty player. But I do know as a big guy with big feet, the closer you are to a guy, guy when he goes up in the air, there's always a 50-50 chance that when he lands, he will come down on the ankle. I know that for a fact. His closeout was very unnatural. Nobody teaches that. And again, like when you're a big guy, you have big feet, you put your foot out there, it's always going to be a 50-50 chance. Sometimes guys don't land on it, but Kawhi landed on it. I don't know if he did it on purpose, but it's always like that for big guys already. I'm Chuckster? Whew. Let me say this. I'm hesitant to call a person dirty unless they have a, hist a history. Greg Popovich seems to think he does. Uh, I, I don't know enough. I don't remember all the things Zaza's done. Um, so I'm going to preface my statement with that. But we do know there are other NBA players who have admitted it, that they do that. It is a dirty play uh, to do that. I played with a guy who did that, and it was a dirty play. And I've heard other guys on other networks say, I did this, and it's, it's, it's a dirty play. Uh, but like I say, uh, I don't want to call a guy dirty unless I have proof or he has a track record. But let me say this. It is a dirty play, Ernie. Chet. I, I, I just, to me... 
anytime that you foul a jump shooter, you're gonna it's it's a dumb defensive play. There are many plays that happen like this See, right all there. the time. Right there. Now, he the, knew what he was doing. My point is, he, he didn't know what he was doing. Yes, he did. He yes, knew he it was, he's going after his left ankle. Shank. Listen, all you, got, you, know, I all you got to do is put point. your foot out there. 50-50. I, I think Shaq's point is. I think Shaq's point is. I'm just saying. You, a, you, you know if you up under a guy. I, yes, I he's either going to come down or he's not. I'm not saying you're right, wrong, and different. But that basketball play happens twice a night, three times a night. And if your ankles are not hurt, you go through and you keep going through, or you well, spread it, your legs, 50, or you 50. don't do it. As a jump shooter, I know, don't, like, to me, just follow, there's been, guys follow three-point shooter all the time, and it's the same, I could show you 100 videos of the guys doing the exact same thing. You pass the ball here, you come under it, and you foul on a jump shooter. So that is a, the same one-foot closeout, guys coming up too close. Uh, I'm fouled. Don't foul right here. Wait, that's wait, not wait, the same. Wait, that's not wait, the same. Wait, that's that's the same. Well, Popovich said. Th this is not the same either? No. He steps on his foot. But he says that. It's not the same? Popovich said that he showed it. it was this is, wait, if you look at this, this is the same. He just ran twice with his hand up. He didn't stand up and walk twice. He took a Okay, we got. More than, they're all bad no. shot. They're all bad. Look at this. This is bad. Oh my, yeah, but no. these guys on, on the ground walking up under guys popping. Exactly. Yeah. Anytime to me, this is my point as a jump shooter, I had probably taken more jump shots than layups in my career. Most bad defenders and bigs that come out do something similar. And I used to say they're in rare air. Well, okay. They're in. The, they're out in the deep water and don't know how to swim. Hey. He doesn't practice closeouts. He doesn't know. That's why he's not a star. That's why he does these things, and he has done them. And yes, Greg Popovich. But everybody knows, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Kenny. Everybody, everybody knows. I don't believe. Your, I just don't believe. Like guy. No, we're not, we're, can I ask you a question? If you're closing out on a guy, aren't you supposed to run by him? No. If, if you're closing out on a guy and you're Avery Bradley, he practices closeout drills. No, no, no. My question is. Zaza, chill you. Hey, everybody, not practice Kenny, hold on. Kenny, 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 cut it out, Kenny. Cut it out, Kenny. Cut it out, Kenny. Kenny. Big guys practice those drills. I'm not picking those drills. Big guys practice those drills. Hey, I'm asking. I'm just, How many I'm, times have you out there? I don't practice hey, most me, defense let me ask you as much as I practice. I'm not picking a side. But it's a legitimate question. When they tell you not to foul a jump shooter, don't you run by the jump shooter instead of running up under him? I think Zaza Patrillia is the way he is in the NBA is because of his reckless abandonment around the rim and around the court. Well, that, that would that, have popped so, up one also. No, but, but doesn't it, matter. But he is not do. one of 20. He's one of, like, 25 guys. He's not one of one. He's Kenny. one of 25. Kenny, so, yes, put your foot what, under should a, he have done shooter. it? Should he have done it? No. And it was a big deal, if, Kenny. If it wasn't Kawhi Leonard, if you want he me plays, right now, they win. You want me to say right? Shoot a jump right now. Shoot the drum right now, and I'm gonna put my foot there. It's gonna be a 50 50 chance you land on my foot. He knew what the hell he was doing. I don't even try. I don't believe he, he did. I don't believe that. I just don't believe that he intentionally did that. I, say I think that he is. I say I, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm, say I'm not gonna get on national television and say Zaza is a dirty player. I'm not saying he's a dirty player. Uh, hold on, no, 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 hold on. But that is a dirty play. I don't think it's dirty. I think it's a guy who plays recklessly and doesn't know how to close out like. 20 other guys I can point out throughout their career that used to run at me at the same time. Yes, does he do it more? You, when Bill Cartwright was playing in the post, what you had to watch out for? His elbow. No question. He plays that way. It's his recklessness when he had the basketball. Everyone knew it. Keem Olajuwon got his knock, eye knocked out almost possibly because of that. Those are two different not analogies saying it's that I will dirty. not accept. It's saying that I he will not accept know those analogies. Okay, I, that's just my point. But I agree with if, if Kawhi went and plays. We know now he's the right. best player so in the Western was, Conference. You're saying it we was know that for now. Yes. We know who's the best player in the West. I'm we know if he played, they the would have won. We know who the we second, know we know we the know the second the best player in the world, world is right now. He's in San Antonio. He proved that last night. He's, now, it's unfortunate he got hurt. I'm not saying he did it on purpose. I'm just saying. But you said he knew what he was doing. As a player, you know that if you close under the guy, he's either going to land on your foot or he's not. Period. Everybody knows that. That's why they outlawed it. Everybody knows that. I agree with you on that. Everybody knows that. Shane Battier. 
Used to Bruce Bowen used up. to do it. Put his hand up in the face. That Bruce Bowen used to do it. It is because if you hit me in my nose when I just broke my nose, then I'm gonna be pissed off and we're gonna have the same argument because you're doing the same thing. Your analogy if sucks I broke tonight. My nose, Cut it out. Your analogy is terrible. Put your hand in my face and hit it again. Well, he Stop does it. that all the time. Stop no, but you no. did it the time I have my nose broke. We have a whole different thing. Thought I would love to break your nose on TV. Yeah, Game two in that series, by the way, is tomorrow night. I'll pay your lawyer fees. Kawhi Leonard is listed officially as doubtful. Kawhi Leonard is not bad. Bad play. Night. Just a very bad play to my business. Bad. NT, Chuck sounds like he's jealous of Kelly Olynyx. Big Will, Big Will number one. I, 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 I have one other question I, for I, I just, I'm just not a fan of the man bun. I know, before we go, I mean, that's funny. Yeah. But I just got a question for Shaq and, and Charles, because we say this a lot. About what a man you, bun? No, no, not the man bun. Okay. But, um, last thing, I, I'll, I'll leave it alone. When you both of you say this a lot, you, you got to touch a guy up. What do y'all mean by when he when that he's means shaking no his shots? If that he's means taking no his jump shot, Kenny, don't even try. I'm asking you, you. You can answer it the way you want to. I'm not don't saying. Even, I'm not putting words in your mouth. Don't even I'm not try saying to anything. Slick New York I'm not. I'm just asking me. you what touch, you mean. Touch, I, I touch think sometimes when guys layups. come into the basket, you got to hit them with a little forearm ship. You first of all, I don't think anybody ever wants to hurt another player. Okay. I've never, even when I hit somebody intentionally, I never want to hurt them. But I wanted them, because what's interesting about that play. I think what people try to do on that play, they don't want you to sprain your ankle, but they, they want, want to put. Think about they it. want Thank you, you to think about in Thank the back you. of it's your a mind. Tactic. Yes, uh, th that's what I think. That th that exactly. that play happens. They're like, uh oh. So do you think he was trying to send a message, touch him up, or do you think he was really thinking about it, or do you think he just ran into him because he's a little clumsy? See, like right I think here. right. Okay, See, right the play's there. over right, right, right here. Right there, bam. The I think when step. you take that second yeah, step of what Coach Popovich is talking about, you 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 got to understand. You got we to give to a guy a action. place to land. He's a good actor then because he really didn't believe he even oh, fouled stop it. I'm just saying. saying for nothing, but he's I, a great. He's a great actor. Of course. Then. Okay. Well, that's a lot oh, to he's for not me. Gonna admit it. That's a lot for me to imagine. And, and, and I said I agree. I, I, I'm not saying it's. I told you, it's a dirty play, but I'm not gonna call Jaja Petulia dirty because I don't know his entire track record. But it's a tactic that's used. Yes. It's definitely been used. Bruce Bowen. It, Bruce Bowen was the ambassador of that tactic. As a jump shooter, give me a place to land. As a jump. Oh, shooter. as a jump. Give me a place to land. But I, I don't think that I've ever had where I went into a, the games and said this guy does this. Oh no! See, I've never had that. See, that's why I, I didn't play against. There's Bruce guys Bowen, who had Meyer, reputation. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I, ne I never thought that going into a game. So I'm never. So I, what you kind of and and, when, and and the guys that are kind of another network saying it, they did it. I didn't hear they did it until now. So I don't even like. I, I'm not sure if that's even true. So I, I just leave it alone. Uh,